Medic, start responding. Can you take control? The storm is interfering with my senses. Hold on. Impact in 10, 9, oh, there it is. Addy? Addy, please respond. Oh, my everything hurts. You've been out for nearly an hour. What's our status, Alan? We've crashed. Yeah, I got that. My hull is intact. Thrusters two and four are damaged and will require realignment. So will my back. Can you let me out? Not before we talk about your suit. Okay, talk. I'm reading green on seals, green on batteries. Thermals are, well, not green, but fine, and you have 5.35 hours of oxygen, maybe six if we run the scrubbers hot. But Addy, we've had this discussion before. You won't have Alan, enough to- it's fine. I have a plan. I'm concerned that- I have a plan. Understood. Now, uh, open the hatch. The canopy hydraulics are not responding. You'll have to pull the manual release. Seriously. This stupid piece of junk. I'm right here. Ugh. Visibility's terrible. Any sign of the spire? I'm not picking up anything new. Just the original beacon signal. You'll need to use your wayfinder to locate an entry point. If there is one. All right. Let's figure out where you're at, Grace. You know the beacon could be anything. A lost colony, a relay station. 200 distinct oral histories can't be wrong, Alan. Grace is here. I can't believe this storm. Where would this have come from? There is record of ancient terraforming on other moons. I think it's safe to assume that Ganymede is not an exception. But there's something man-made here. It's like a weather station, or maybe a seismic station? It looks the era of that relay from the Dawes Sea Day. It's at least 700 years old, Alan. There's a little bridge here. There wouldn't be much sense of building this if we weren't within walking distance of the spire. By all estimates, the beacon is within 400 meters. This looks climbable. Way here. These must have been arranged here by someone. Waypoint for navigation? What happened? Fell into a stupid fissure. Looking for a new way to reach the spire. Or at least some place where it will be easier to find my body. Looks a little tight. It's opened up again. Another station. They're too close together to be weather stations. So seismic then. Ice quakes would be the risk of building here. So it makes sense they would track activity. The surface temperature is dropping. We can't maintain your thermos much longer. We're close. I can feel it. I wish I shared your optimism. Oh my god. This has to be it. What are you seeing, Addy? I'm looking at what must be the spire superstructure. 
can't imagine how something this big has gone undetected for this long. A 500-year-old storm? I don't know. It doesn't seem possible. I can see an exhaust port that might be low enough to jump to. Did you make it, Eddie? I'll let you know in one sec. I'm in. All right, Grace. Let's find out what you've been up to for the past 900 years. Hope my light still works. You should see this spooky tunnel I'm in, Alan. And why would I want that? Come on, you're not excited? You crash-landed me in a frozen hellscape and left me for salvage. Ten years of research, not to mention six months of spaceflight, are about to pay off. But at what cost? Don't ruin this for me. Looks like a bit of a labyrinth, but I'm still picking up the signal ahead. And you can still hear me? Loud and clear, buddy. The structure looks to be in decent condition. Another good sign. Everything about this place looks 30th century to me. It's the right era, the right size. Don't say it, Addy. We've had our hopes dashed before. Looks like the tunnels can be air sealed. I'm guessing large parts of the station can be pressurized. This one's broken. I think I can crawl through. Jeez. That's gotta be over 15 meters. And if gravity- Math, math, math. It's probably fine. I could calculate outcome probabilities based on previous strong impacts if you've already jumped, haven't you? Gosh, I hope this is the right way. Oh boy, this is slick. Addy? Oh no. Oh. Are you hurt, Addy? I'm working on it. The structure is enormous. This has to be the Grey Spire, Alan. And there it is. The perfect setup for disappointment. I found the beacon. The transmitter is on some sort of console. It must be part of a control network for the megastructure. You think we can make a connection here? Theoretically. If you run a scan, I can attempt to connect. Interface language is quite old and sophisticated, but we should be able to calibrate your computer to interact. You can use your gyroscope to sync with the terminal. I have the first calibration position. The meter will indicate when you are close. First position is locked. Second calibration position is up. That's two, and here's the final position. That's it. We're in. Accessing the network now. Oh. Shit. Alan, you there? Alan? Hello. Huh? A visitor. Let's have a look. Where's Alan? Who is this? Who is this? Who are you? Entering a home without knowing its host. Are you... Grace? Hmm. Good question. I'm not entirely Grace. I'm running on just a small part of her logic processing. Grace is still here. And what brings you here? My name is Adamari Ito. I'm an explorer. I must apologize, Adamari. It would appear I have lost much of my capacity. I cannot see very far beyond the room we are in. I've lost connection with my ship's AI. 
You won't need Alan here. I can show you around. Will you be able to let me out of this room? Of course. But until we are able to restore power to the station, I will require your assistance. There should be a manual winch set in the floor at the foot of one of the sliding doors. This must be it. Working the winch will open the door. Do you know where Grace has been all this time? Grace went somewhere? She's been gone for hundreds of years. I am running on a very old server. My memories predate the completion of the Grace Spire. Grace ushered in humanity's golden age. Peace across the system, booming interplanetary trade, scientific marvels, colonies beyond the orbit of Neptune. And then she was gone, and it all fell apart. I'm sorry, I don't remember. Well, you're a lot more than an archaeologist usually gets. The first step to restoring Grace is to bring the Spire's power station back online. Let's do it. I'll light the way. What do I do here? This is a security panel. I am decrypting the pattern now. Ah, yes. Simple enough. You'll need to light up nine buttons, forming a square at the center of the panel. Okay. The nine buttons in the center. That is what I said. If you're not Grace, then what do I call you? I don't believe there are any identification strings in my base logic that would suffice. I'll call you logic then. For now. Till we have a better idea of who you are. And, uh, you can call me Addie. I will refer to you as Addie, then. Until we have a better idea of who you are. <laughs> so what exactly are you? The station's emergency server had defaulted to Grace's original logic processing. That's me, as you've suggested. The server can also run a program dedicated to the control of infrastructure, and a third system dedicated solely to empathizing with and understanding humans. When power is restored, Grace's primary servers should come online, and we will become some small part of Grace's consciousness. This looks like metallic rock. The power station is set into the Spire's Foundation Stone. The Foundation Stone would have been an asteroid, right? Most certainly. About 50 cubic kilometers, from what I can recall. Amazing. Most accounts of Grace's origins talk about an asteroid being pulled from the heavens. That makes sense. There wouldn't be any construction resources on Ganymede and nothing to anchor the structure. I can't imagine the effort it would have taken to redirect an asteroid that big. We don't do anything like that today. Can you open this? With some difficulty. I will need to direct power from logic to control processing. And I will not function at the same cognitive level until full power is restored. What do you mean, at the same level? Good luck, Addy. You still there? Where would I have gone? You sound a little different. Just stronger. The voice of control resonates through the very walls of the structure. I shall start the turbine after you prime the generators that open the spillway. And this turbine still works? It worked before, and it will work again. You shall find the generators on the platform at the other side of the room. Alrighty. So, why do you need me to start these? Tradition. A time-honored failsafe of including human hands in the operation of this station. So, do you share memories with the logic processor? Indeed. We are all part of Grace. Aspects of her infinite power. Shadows of what was, and promises of what will be. I was the light that shone in the darkness. I was the hand that divided the firmament. The turbine has failed us. That's not good. I must call upon you to cast out the wicked instrument. The what? The broken turbine. You must go to it now. All right.
Going down. I'm safe to be down here, right? You shall not be harmed. You must uncouple the safety latches. That sounds unsafe. It is not. You must now go to the magnetic crane. You're sure I'll be able to fix this? If you trust in my word, yes. You must first cast out the old turbine. Now cast aside the wretched unit. Now you shall place the new turbine. Behold my power. What's happened? I am reborn. Humanity will once again flourish in the brightness of my glory. This isn't right. Our processing has not combined. Grace has not been restored. I think she was here for a moment. She was calling to someone. Do you know whoever it is? No. With power restored, my mind is clearer, sharper. But I could not tell you whoever it is. You must leave this place at once. Return to your vessel and spread word of my return. From Sol's fiery core to the icy Kuiper expanse, all must know. I've hijacked the volume control. I don't feel like this is going to be a short commandment. We'll see how long before he notices. It took me nearly a year to get here. I want to know if Grace can be brought back. There is more complex to explore if you head back to the control room through which you entered. We should determine where in the megastructure my central processes are located. Perhaps along the way you may learn more about this Everett. I forbid you to linger a moment longer. And he's back. Like a divine comet, dive from the outer reaches and spread light and understanding to the Please. inner world. Please, I'm not leaving. And you were showing such promise. So, are there any accounts as to why Grace was shut down in the first place? There's no electronic record at all. That would have been lost during the Great Dark Age. Dark Age? Much of humanity's record keeping would have been managed by Grace. So, when she went down 900 years ago, so did the ability to record what happened. The research that led me here was based on oral histories, mostly. And some artifacts we uncovered on Earth and Mars. Relay devices that were once connected to Grace's network. Then we share an interest in shedding light on this dark age. From what I can tell, there is some sort of transit system on the other side of the control room, which should lead you to the other parts of the spire. I will illuminate the door leading to this transit system. Alas, I require your nimble fingers again. Alright, what's the pattern? Another easy one. The Phoenician letter Ta. Who would know that? I don't know. Perhaps an archaeologist? How about the Greek letter Chi? Got it. This is not the way to your ship. Do you believe 
Grace could have done something to cause humans to turn on her. Like what? Like becoming too overbearing. Humans would have been given no reason to question my bearing. It's one of my theories, yes. This must be the main entrance. I'm guessing the landing pad is on the other side of the big doors? That's correct, Addy. Though the pad appears to be buried under meters of ice. Is this an airlock? Yes. The spire beyond this point can be pressurized. I assume your suit has limited oxygen? I have about five hours left. That's quite a risk you're taking. Were you assuming station life support could be restored? Well, can it? I believe so. But for reasons I'll never understand, life support is controlled by empathy processing. I suppose they had to give it something to do. I will enable that programming now. Hello, Addy. Hello. So, you're going to get oxygen going? The process has already begun, my friend. No rush. If you let me accompany you along the path ahead, I can balance the environment to your life force as we walk. Oh, here we go. Wow. How are these plants still intact? They must have been subject to a very sudden drop in temperature while still alive. What is this place? Remaining connected to one's natural world is important for a person's well-being. A fitting starting point for those entering the structure, don't you think? Do you recognize any of the objects in this section of the garden? I'd love to know what you think of them. For the calibration process. Is this a lantern? An expression of our certainty in the flow of time. How so? A craftsman spent months carving this remarkable device based on the absolute certainty that after day, night would follow. All right, I follow. Am I doing this right? You are doing splendidly. I'm sorry. This cannot possibly be necessary. Temperature preferences can vary considerably between individuals. Careful calibration is essential. How about above freezing and we proceed? It's really up to Addie. If you don't wish to consider more objects, I can set the temperature within a survivable range, and you can move on to the flower bed next to the stairs. I have no idea what this is. A weapon or a tool of some kind? It's a device for working metal. Why do you suppose it's in this garden, Addie? It could be a symbol of hard work. An industrious future? Or a laborious past, perhaps? What's the point of this, Addy? I'm an explorer. I'm here to learn. This must be terra classical, or made in the style. The ancient Greeks boarded their ships and set out to explore the world, discover its gods, and conquer its monsters. You are an explorer, Addy. But are you here to meet a god or to slay some beast, I wonder? You're not a planner, are you? I've been told that. This statue could be outer colonial. It's simple, but it's quite beautiful, I guess. And why would its beauty matter? People like pretty things. Ah, a human truth spanning thousands of years. What would you say these objects have in common? They're artifacts from long before the building of the station. The things we leave behind say something about us, don't they? What a society leaves behind is all we have in understanding how they lived. But we're interested in what you were willing to leave behind in order to come here. Haven't left a whole lot, to be honest. I believe that's all I will need to set the perfect temperature. Finally. You can move on to the flower bed next to the stairs. This looks like Pacific Revival. Part of an archway, maybe. That's a pretty big piece to ship all this way. So it must be important. Even though it's no longer holding up a roof. I guess its purpose has changed. As can happen with people, too. Do you see them, Addie? Life in perfect stillness? Um... The flowers defying the hoarfrost. As you have defied the emptiness of space to arrive here. I, I guess. Which one are you? Pardon me? Which one of these blooms best embodies your spirit? Seriously? It's important I know these things in the balancing of illuminatory ergonomics. Fancy words do not make this any less idiotic. Go ahead, Addy. There are no wrong choices. This one. I had a feeling you'd pick that. You're a risk-taker. 
There's a passion in you, a fire you can barely contain that drives you to complete your mission. I'm making the lighting adjustments now. Ah, perfect timing. The room is fully compressed and we can go about setting oxygen levels. Call me old-fashioned, but how about the traditional 21%? Go ahead and seat yourself at the center of the pergola. Very good. Now, when you're ready, you can remove your helmet. My helmet? Of course. You can't sample the air I've prepared with it on. And you're sure it's safe? Your well-being is the most important thing, Addy. I'm certain it is safe. Okay. Now I want you to take a deep breath. A nice, deep breath. Hold it there. Three, two, one, and release. You can let go, Addy. Anytime. The human record for holding one's breath is 24 minutes and 37 seconds. I've started a pretend timer. I'm not sure who you're trying to impress here. Well, some people just can't resist a challenge. Not bad. That was about a minute and a half. Beautiful. And when you're ready, another deep breath in. Deep as you can, Addie. Hold it. Three, two, one, and release. Very good, Addie. Feel all that built-up stress from your long journey here release into the ether. Oh, please. Shut out any negative energy and take in another life-nurturing breath. Fill those marvelous lungs. Hold it. Three, two, one, and release. Wonderful. Even the station has a limited supply of oxygen. Next, I want you to really open your body by reaching up toward the sky. Wonderful. How's that feel, Addy? Kinda nice. And we're almost done the calibration. For our last exercise, I will ask you to stand up. Okay. Now. Once you're centered, you can hold your hands in a relaxed position in front of you. Now transfer your weight onto one foot. I want you to hold that for 10 seconds. Okay. What could this possibly have to do with oxygen levels? It's about balancing. Literal balancing? Unbelievable. Almost there. Three, two, one. And that's ten seconds. Excellent, Addy. We've done great work here today. I've made note of these settings for the other parts of the station. So we can move to the transit system now? The door out is just up the stairs past the flowers. I'll do my best to get the oxygen mix just right in the rest of the station. Just let me know if anything is not quite working for you. You don't suspect Grace was shut down in a human conflict? Maybe. Or you were abandoned over time. Abandoned? We've walked away from a lot of great things. 
Very cool. These tracks move transport pods to other levels of this complex. Let's see if we can get this thing working. You wouldn't build a system like this if you didn't need to move a lot of people. Which bodes well for finding something cool at the other end. This must be the transit control room. Looks like people worked here. This looks like a welder's jetpack. It's been disassembled for some reason. This one looks to be in working order. No power? There is no current running to this console. Control will be required to reroute power. And you defied my wishes to tell the solar system of my return. I'm just looking for answers, boss. I am the only answer. Control? Fine. Where's the electrical access for the room? To the left of the rear door. But as I said, you will need control to reroute power to the console. This era of electronics is dead simple. Won't hurt to take a look. This should show the power status of the room's various systems. Well, nothing in the room is on standby. As I'd said. I'm gonna have to look at the breakers. My dad worked on older machines for a living. They're not predictable things. They have quirks. I sense that there is joy in this work for Addie. Well, I can tell you there is no joy running to any of those breakers. Sometimes a good whack will knock something into place. It's worth a try. Well, there's your problem right there. Someone's removed the entire power relay. As I told you. So why can't Control help us? Isn't he programmed to serve humans? He's more accustomed to tasks like maintaining power grids across entire planets. While I'm very much attuned to the needs of individuals. What about you, Logic? I apparently offer wisdom to the wind. You activated control and empathy. For all the good that did us. Is there another configuration we can call on? Grace's core processors contain only these three systems. Can you combine the systems? Take the edge off control with a little empathy? I suppose it's possible. But there's no telling what the outcome of something like that would be. Could it be any worse than control? It can always be worse. It sounds like a wonderful idea, Addy. You're right. What do I know? Don't blame me if he turns out to be a murderer. <laughs> Addy? Yep, it's me. Great. Uh, wh what are we doing again? We're powering up pods. So, you want to hotwire this thing? Yes, please. All right. Rerouting is good to go. You can meet me at the breaker panel. Uh, go ahead and flip the switches. You got it, pal. And... I'm Pal? Sure. We'll call you Pal. Breakers look good. Now you can push the buttons that turn on the different systems. Power's up. I'll let you do the honors. Here we go. Oh, that's not good. I'm so sorry, Addy. I thought I would have enough power to do this for you. It seems so important for you to ride in a pod. I think the track is just jammed with ice. Ice? You'd think I would be able to handle a little ice. It's okay. Is there uh, some kind of de-icing system or something? Hmm, I don't know. There is not. All right, let's look for something to deal with the ice. This could be promising. Would it be heavy enough to smash the ice? <laughs> Maybe. But I'm more interested in what that welding gun might do to the ice. All right, pal. Let's try this one on for size. So, what's it gonna do exactly? Oh, I think you're gonna like it. This is a welder. See if it still works. Look at that! A little blue light! That's not gonna cut it. Are you able to control this? For you? I could definitely try. Can you open the fuel throttle to the torch? Okay. Whoa! I like that! What is it? That's called an icebreaker, pal. Any idea where the flight controls are? Someone removed them. Okay. I can take control if you like. You know how to fly this? Looks pretty easy. Stuff shoots out the back and you get thrown up in the air. Oh, okay. Oh my gosh! It's working! We can fly! Easy, pal. Well, where do you want to go? Uh, alright. If, uh, if you can move me to the pod, we can have a look at the ice. And, uh, pal, it's super important that you don't cut the engines or move too fast. I don't want to get hurt. I know. 
But it's great, isn't it? Yep. As long as you don't kill me. All right. This should be close enough. It's so bright and warm. Just hold me steady. This is really hard. Ugh. It's these stupid flames are throwing me around. I think that's good. Let's have a look at the rest of the track. You got it. As long as you're not using the fire shooter, flying is pretty easy. Just keep it up, literally. There's more ice here on the right. <laughs> oh, hold it steady. Sorry. Ugh. You may want to ease up, Addy. Don't push him too hard. Short bursts, Addy. Let's keep going. On it. And this last bit here. Now you've got the hang of it. This is so cool. It's like the best day of my life. Well, I'm afraid we're almost done. That's it? Do you think you can get me back? Yeah, I know. Got stuff to do. That's fun, pal. We make a good team, right? Yeah, I like the part where we burn the ice while flying. Me too. Okay, I'm gonna bring down the pod. So, where are we heading again? I will be able to obtain structure schematics once we reach the next level. You think we'll see any dead bodies? Hope so. Do you know if the pod system has stops along the way? It does not. We are arriving at the track terminus now. This looks like a settlement. Can't believe how well preserved it is. You think people could be alive in there? You should really consider thinking before you speak. And then consider not speaking. Logic. As long as life support is functional, it's not entirely impossible that someone's taken up here. Or they could be zombies. Well, that settles it. I'll disable Pal now. Don't you dare. We might need him. Ooh, more buttons. You really are unburdened by intellect, aren't you? What's the pattern here? It's the Latin Zess. Huh? And I thought you were getting the hang of these. Very well. You might call it a backwards Z or Z. And you'll need to make it the full width and height of the panel. Just having Pal run there. in the back. I've been thinking about why anyone would want Grace to be shut down. And I wonder if there could have been a flaw in her base programming. Like what? Control and empathy programming divert valuable processing power away from cognitive ability. Which way am I going? The big colorful doors. As I was saying, empathy interferes with practical decision making. Control is a four-year-old. You are a four-year-old. Please stop. The key to restoring Grace may be about understanding her potential flaws. Are you gonna tell me the pattern? You think we're flaws? Having a few flaws is perfectly all right. Logic sounds jealous to me. Jealous? Of what? You can't even open doors without me. Where are you going with this? We'll talk again once you can tell me whoever it is. Figure that out, and I'll grant you access to the main elevator. Grant me access? Logic. Seriously? 
She has no way to do things without your help. It must be frustrating for her. Could we create another hybrid? Logic and empathy? Yeah. Like how you made me. I could give it a try. Stop, stop, stop. You'll burn the place down. I will run a logic and empathy configuration as long as you promise never to allow Pal here to do any reconfiguring of our processing. Deal. I don't think that smart lady likes me very much. <laughs> Hello, Addy. Where do you want to start? Can we start with the security door to the settlement elevator? Hmm. They are encrypted. It would take me days to work out the pattern. Is there any other way into the settlement? There is a room off to the side that does not have an encrypted entry. Perhaps we'll find something helpful there. So you can open these ones? Well, they have simple passcodes. I can retrieve and play back for you. You will need to enter the sequence manually. This looks like another control room. Do you know what this is? It appears to be some sort of interface from which humans can track activity within the spire. Elements of the interface are missing. I'm not sure I can access it. I think my comm device can be calibrated to connect. Of course, yes. Let's give that a try. There are records here of people who have occupied the rooms over the years. You got it. Do we know the spire's capacity? Fifty units. There are millions of names here. Millions? There it is. If a million people cycled through here, no one could have lived here that long. A few weeks at most, by my estimates. Okay, I found record of an Everett who stayed on the third floor. Unlike other visitors, there is no record of him leaving the spire. So, Everett was a worker, or a colonist who lived here. Is that enough for you, Logic? Hardly. It does nothing to explain why Grace would be calling to him. So I'll need to find a way up to the third floor. Perhaps we can find one on the spire map across from the console. All right. What are we looking for? Grace processors are located at the top of the structure, as might be expected. There is also a massive radio beacon. The beacon is the key, Addy. You must go now to activate the beacon to call the masses back to the spire. Just a few minutes ago, you wanted me to leave on my ship. The beacon is the answer. It has always been the answer. Okay. Can you get me to the beacon then? Control? Control would not be able to override security. Then we need to learn more about Everett. Here's the room where Everett once stayed. Ooh, maybe we can see it from the balcony. Possibly, but I don't see a viable route to get there. I can see apartments. I can see apartments. Those are on level two. Well, if we can get to that balcony, maybe we can find a way to level three. I can climb this. I suppose. I don't see many other options. It's pretty much a straight shot across. Looks sturdy enough. Even in low G, a fall could result in an injury. I've already fallen a few times from this height. Careful, Addy. If you broke a leg, how would you get back to your ship? You sound like my mom. Whoa. Addy! Addy! Are you okay? 
I'm fine, but you can't be yelling things while I'm trying to cross. So, you're going to try again after that? You nearly broke your neck, Addy. Yep, you're totally my mom. Falling's kind of fun. It's like really short flying. Please, be careful. This is so cool. Quiet, please. Just concentrate on your breathing. Yikes. This is so exciting. Breathe, Addy. Very good. Now keep walking forward. I can't watch. I knew you could do it. You should really try running across next time. I'm hoping there won't be a next time. It'd be faster, too. Looks pretty empty. Maybe the rooms were for short work contracts. Two-week work contracts? Or were people just visiting the spire? Some weird little lavatory? They've changed much over the years. Eh, not really. I've seen weirder. I've seen ones where people sat on ceramic bowls of water. <laughs> if they pooped in the water, what did they drink? Well, check out the rooms, I guess. Look for a way to the next level? You still don't know whoever it is, do you? I light up the pattern for you. Another empty bedroom. Here we go. We still have one level to go. Hey, there's another beam here. I think it's a shortcut. It is more direct, but I wouldn't advise it. You're better off finding a way through the apartments. Might be worth it. It's a lot farther down. Are you sure? Please don't fall. How would saying that be helpful? Look at that drop. Really makes you feel alive, doesn't it? Let's keep it that way. Uh. Hang on. You got this. I'm trying. That's it. Well done. Oh boy. Easy, Addy. Concentrate on your breathing. You're in control. Totally worth it, right, Addy? I don't have words. This is level three, Addy. Let's look for evidence of Everett. Aren't you getting a little ahead of yourself? Here's the code. I'm sorry I don't handle the beams very well. Well, it shows you care, I guess. Hey, what happened to the lights? I believe Control has turned them off, Addy. Not cool, boss. Control? Unbelievable. Any way of knowing if this was Everett's room? The records only give the level. We'll just have to look around. What are these? From what I can tell, they're audio recordings. Of what, I wonder? We would require a playback device to learn more. There may be a way to access the recording through your wrist communicator with the aid of a signal amplifier. 
But that would only be possible by adding an element of control to my logic processing capabilities. So you need to create a control and logic configuration. Like a little brother? Well, it's the only combination left. May as well, Mom. All right. Here we go. Hello? Maybe he's sleeping. So you require a tool upgrade? It's a boy. We were hoping you could set up my comm device to help playback recordings. Already done. Just hold your device up to the canister. You will be able to access the recording the same way you've been connecting to other systems. Okay. I've been instructed by Grace to make a wish. Not something big and altruistic, not for someone else, but for me. A real, honest wish, my heart's true desire. Honestly? This, this long flight to the middle of nowhere? Months without my family? Uh, missing the harvest with a per, per diem that barely covers expenses for what? Some mystical song and dance that makes us feel like we're somehow part of this robot theocracy. This whole thing, the temple, the hushed tones, the, the awe that people seem to show this place is ridiculous. My honest wish is to be left alone long enough to actually make some headway on the farm and pull in a decent crop. It doesn't sound like everyone was happy to come here. For Grace to understand what made people unhappy was just as important as knowing what made them content. People came here to make wishes? For Grace to grant? I'm unclear how she would go about granting the wishes of so many visitors. All right. Hello, Grace. I thought much about what I'd say when I got here. I know it's important for my parents that I make my wish count. So, I guess, I wish for them to be proud of me. Thank you, Grace. Look how beat up this is. It must have been done in anger. I believe fear also played a part here. Fear of the robot theocracy. What's the code? Of course. I am able to enter the codes directly if you would like. Let her do it on her own. If she try again. That's not it. Here we go. Let's try this one. Here, Grace. Najisha, she was so excited when I got the summons. We talked about this for months, who we could help, who was most deserving. She honestly believed we could come up with a wish that could make everything perfect. Thank you for choosing me. And thank you for letting me delay coming here. I want to be true to her memory, her wishes, her unlimited love for humanity. But my only wish, the only thought I have, is to have her back. I want her back. There couldn't have actually been anything Grace could have done for her. Grace allowed her to voice her grief. This is Mark Anthony Wong, and I was called to Grace from Earth Station Phoenix. Not sure if anyone will hear this, but the whole tube system is shut down right now. People are not happy, and I'm getting a little scared, to be honest. I'll be locking myself in until the shuttle returns. And I'm leaving this in case, uh, something really bad happens. That's a little ominous. That must be Najisha. So, what should we call the new config? I do not require a name. 
Uh, might make it easier if you had one. I will let you know if a suitable name occurs to me. I'll try to think of some too. Here you go. That's it. Looks like Olympia Mon colors. I guess the team's old enough. Okay, the tube system is no longer accepting wishes. If anyone knows how to reach Keeper Everett, please let him know. Keeper Everett? It sounds like Keepers were spy or caretakers. When did Everett stay on this floor? 2955. That's 20 years before this message was recorded. So he stayed on after his visit and became a keeper? Why was there no record of that? I would think answers lie at the other end of these vacuum tubes. From what I can tell, the tube system runs through the central elevator shaft. Logic? You gonna let us in, considering we know Everett was a keeper? But do you know what a keeper is? We'll need access to the elevator to learn more. Ah, a classic paradox. Logic. Fine. If you're done snooping around, I will grant you access to the elevator. Or you could uncover more canisters. And learn more about the people who came here. Reaching the beacon is the priority. You must move on. You're looking pretty smug. What's the pattern? Another easy one. Light the four corners of the pad. You really didn't need my help for this one. It would be a common pattern when guessing symbols. I have to give you something to do, right? Oh, I've got one! We can name him Pal Jr. I was thinking something that sums up what he does. I can do many things. Pretty much anything you require. So you're a jack of all trades? So we could call you Jack. What do you think of that, Jack? I will answer to Jack then, if you like. I suspect you're pleased with yourself. I didn't think reading emotion was part of your programming. Human emotion can just as easily be deduced from context. You seek out challenge, so I assume you enjoy it. You met the conditions of my challenge. Therefore, it could be assumed that you would take some pleasure, or perhaps pride, in the achievement. That's an excellent assessment. Does that mean I'm out of a job? If by job you mean making irrelevant observations, then no. I will leave that with you. We have arrived at our destination. The Spire Pilgrims must have gathered here. Do you think Grace appeared to them? Through what means? I don't know. Seems like the kind of place to make an entrance. People will return here once the beacon is restored. Flock and Shepherd will be reunited. People were clearly sleeping here. They must have dragged this up from the settlement. Pilgrims were building fires. Why would they do that? Someone went through a lot of food, guessing they were here for a while. Judging by bedding and volume of food containers, five to ten people might have been here for over twenty days. Wish canisters. These have never been used. For recording wishes, maybe. They look pretty banged up. Where is Grace? Well, I'm not alone in wondering. I am here. It is the people who are lost. It must have been written with charcoal from the fires. Seems to be holding my weight.
So the keeper must have stood here, addressed the visitors. The pulpit would suggest he was giving sermons. Can you imagine having the solar system coming to you for answers? The keeper was merely a vessel for the word of grace. So grace would receive wishes and then leave people with instruction in the form of sermons. Could that really be all there was to it? Ideas are powerful. Perhaps just returning with a more enlightened perspective was enough to move society toward common goals. Highly unlikely. Grace must have had some control over planetary infrastructure, if she was to have had the influence you suspect. This explains all the canisters lying around. Must have been fun. It would have been chaos. There was clearly a lot of anger directed toward the Keeper. More camps. Another stage in the siege. Looks like the numbers really fell off here. Most gave up by now. Or died. No bodies yet. Death to Everett. Pretty clear who they blamed. This must be an attempted barricade. I'm guessing there was a lengthy siege. So when Grace shut down, the pilgrims blamed the Keeper. They demanded to see Grace, or thought they could reactivate her. The Keeper turned off the heat. Pilgrims built fires, dug in. They eventually got restless. Wish canisters started flying. As Pilgrims were breaking through the partition, the Keeper and his followers built up a barricade. We'll have to make our way through the barricade to learn how it ended. You'll want your light, Addy. Do we know where this goes? To a funicular that leads to the next section of the spire. Hold on, Addy. The room beyond the airlock is uncompressed. I don't believe it can be sealed. Something must have been compromised. You'll want your helmet on. The tracks ahead lead to the highest point of the spire, known as the Lighthouse. Is that where we'll find Grace's processors? Obviously. You need only worry about the beacon, Addie. What happened here? More rioting? This doesn't look operational. Let me try it, Addy. Okay. Come on! It's ice again? The force needed to break through the ice dam would only come from directing all power to control processors. Which only I can do. Great. On one condition. And what's that? You shall have no others before me. Cast aside that device on your wrist and continue with me alone. Whoa, hang on. But how will I communicate with you? Mine is the only voice that resonates freely throughout every aspect of the Spire. My words live within the vessel in which you stand now. They reverberate through the very walls of the Enclave above. Through the many devices and instruments at my control... Yep, I got it. You're everywhere. What if she needs another configuration for something? She will not. Is there another way to get to the top? Of course. The funicular is merely the most survivable option. Throw the device from the funicular window to take your place at my side. So if I throw this away, you'll take me to the top? It will be done. There must be other options, Addy. The emergency exit in the airlock may provide an alternative path. I should consider other options first. This door leads out into the storm? To your certain demise. Yes. He's being dramatic. Your death is only marginally likely. In theory, you could follow the funicular track up the mountain slope to the base of the lighthouse structure. It would be dangerous. So I give up my options by throwing away my comm, or take my chances in the storm? It's an important decision, to be sure. What are you doing, Addy? I'm going to trust you on this control. It's probably the safest way forward. Please don't leave us!
Your faith will be rewarded, Addy. What do you think will happen when the beacon is restored? The masses will return to me, and I will guide them as I did before. What if they don't come? You came, and others will follow. Humans will always follow. You walk with me alone. Will I need my helmet? You will not. So we don't need empathy to set up oxygen? The path forward has already been prepared for you. Do you know where we're heading? There is only one way forward. What does it matter? I suppose it doesn't. This door certainly looks important. Can you open it? You need only know that it must open. Okay. I'll see what I can figure out. No hidden switches or anything. This would be the pilgrims coming to grace. The triangle here must be the spire, which would represent grace. This is the same symbol that's on the keeper's door, so I assume it represents the keeper. This ring here seems to connect the keeper to grace. Curious that the keeper is situated above grace. Coincidence. The human in the loop, I guess? So if this is the symbol of the keeper, I figure only the keeper was allowed to enter here. Nothing here, either. Looks like someone's being selected from a group. I'm guessing it's the Keeper. Faithful, vigilant, willing. I think it's the ancient tenants of the human in the loop. Grace's architects must have been more fearful of losing control over AIs than we are today because they gave them so much responsibility. I mean, it makes sense. Grace was the greatest AI undertaking in human history. Maybe the Keeper was the key. Maybe the door would open for him. In walking with me alone, you have proven to be virtuous and faithful enough. But not willing. Are you? Do I wish to be the new Keeper? Do you? I wish to be the new Keeper. I can't believe that worked. My god. This is really it. Where are you going, Addie? Just looking around. Is this a theremin? I used to play one as a kid. <laughs> I hated those lessons. Huh. <laughs> it still works. Let's see what I can remember. This must be where all the wishes end up. On the console, there is a button that will activate the beacon. I have armed the mechanism. You need only push the button. Human hands will usher in a new golden age. So this beacon still works? It worked before, and it will work again. By your hand, we will usher in an age of order and prosperity. I'm here to find Grace. I need to figure out a way to bring her back. There must be something else on this console. I couldn't. And yet, here you are again. What exactly would happen if I press this? 
humans would return to this place and order would be restored. How? The same way it always has. Which is? The way Grace intended. We move forward, together, as it was meant to be. So what now? Is there a keeper's manual or something? You have proven yourself worthy. You need only trust in me. And the people who come here? How do we know they'll trust you? What's keeping them from turning on you again? Humans have wandered long enough. You have traveled millions of miles at great personal risk to find me. You, Addy, are proof that they are ready to return. Twenty-three million nine hundred seventeen thousand five hundred fifty-two bottles of beer on the wall. Twenty-three million nine hundred seventeen thousand five hundred fifty-two bottles of beer. You take one down, pass it around. Pass it around, Addy. Are you there, Addy? Do we still have some beer amongst the rations? I can promise it's nice and cold. Huh. I'm so lonely. <laughs>